uh, which is kind of complicated, but WikiLeaks, <laughs> the WikiLeaks website, yeah. is expected to engage in another massive document dump, this time of State Department cables, within the next 24 hours. Senator Graham, there is speculation that among the, uh, the, the classified documents that are going to be released are embarrassing assessments of Russian leaders, possibly secrets from negotiations with the Russians on arms control. Really, two questions. One, what do you make of this latest WikiLeaks uh, document dump? And secondly, what impact could it, if it does have this kind of information about the Russians and arms control negotiations, what information could it ha or I impact could it have <laughs> on ratification of the START Treaty? Well, one, leaking the material is deplorable. I agree with the Pentagon's assessment that the people at WikiLeaks could have uh, uh, blood on their hands. How it affects START negotiations, I really don't know. I do know this, that it would be good for the United States and Russia to enter into the START treaty if it is a good treaty. The question for me, are we sure, are we absolutely certain that we can proceed with missile defense development apart from the START treaty? It is my belief that you cannot allow the START treaty to in, uh, interfere with the missile defense uh, of this nation. We, we, we are at, at risk here from Iran, North Korea, and other actors. Uh, I don't know what the cables may say, but it's just a, we're at war. I mean, we're, the world is getting dangerous by the day, and people who do this uh, are low on the food chain, as far as I'm concerned. If you can prosecute them, let's try. Well, you, Senator McCaskill, I got, I guess, the two questions for you. One about the WikiLeaks dump, and, and secondly, about the new STAR Treaty. Well, uh, you know, Lindsay's right. Uh, the people who are leaking these documents need to do a gut check about their patriotism. And um, I think they're enjoying the attention they're getting, but frankly, it's coming at a very high price in terms of protecting our men and women in uniform national security. And uh, I, I hope that we can figure out where this is coming from and go after them with the force of law.